There is so much happening in the country. There is so much politics in this country, so much talk in the air, that Kenyans have forgotten almost everything that's going on. Kenyans have go forgotten the pain they are going through. Kenyans are almost forgetting the school fees, choices of school for their children. Kenyans are almost forgetting the debt under which we are almost collapsing. Kenyans are actually almost oblivious of the fact that this economy could soon collapse. All because of politics. This politics was set in motion by the handshake of March 9, 2018. All pointing at 2022. With it, William Ruto on the one hand and Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga on the other hand are the star players in all this. And I think in the interest of stability and peace, in the interest of nationhood, in the interest of moving forward this country, we must bring this to an end. Uhuru and Raila must tell us what was in the handshake, once and for all, so that we forget. It's for this reason that this afternoon I want to talk about Uhuru's surprise choice. Alisema mutashanga mutagutuka kamaka. That choice is what I'm going to unveil today. It is important that Uhuru's 22 choice is known to Kenyans and then we deal with it. Somebody will be wondering, Uhuru talked of 2022 choice. It didn't mean he would have to wait until 2022 to give that choice. That choice is going to be given this year for a number of reasons. I will not go into the reasons. I know he will give that surprise choice this year, especially after the BBI team, the Bridges team, puts in their report, which they could actually just use as an excuse to tell us what they already had in mind. But it is important. Now, let's look at the choice. Could it be Raila Odinga? Yes, it could have been a surprise only to the extent that people think Raila perhaps has, be has become too old for that. So if you would have said Raila, it could be a surprise. But I doubt that that would be the surprise. Would it be Msalem Davadi? Yes, Msalem Davadi could be, but it cannot be a surprise because People have always talked of Salem Dabadi as the safe pair of hands, as the most neutral person, as a person who appeals to all parts of this country. So it won't be a surprise. Will it be Kalonzo Msioka? It can't be a surprise either, because Mos Kalonzo Msioka has come close to the presidency by being vice president for a whole five years. Who is this therefore that could be a surprise? That leaves you with only two gentlemen. One, William Samoy Ruto. William Samoy Ruto could be Uhuru's surprise candidate because so far everybody thinks the handshake deal excludes Ruto from their presidency. And therefore, should Uhuru name Ruto as the choice, this would surprise people. So it is possible that Uhuru could choose William Samoy Ruto, get him out of the hut. And that is a surprise. I have another surprise. A man who is mysterious, a man who has done so much for the presidency, especially the 2013 elections, a man who almost saw Raila clinch the presidency in 2017. This man could also be a surprise candidate. Ladies and gentlemen, dear Kenyans, I unveil to you Jimmy Wanjigi as a possible surprise candidate.